unahin po muna natin si um, Attorney uh, Raymond Fortune uh, to give us the um, yung narrative ng uh, pangyayari. Because uh, kung titignan po natin ang media, uh, talagang iba-iba po yung lumalabas. And uh, in here, we have invited also the uh, PNP at uh, sila po naman na nakakaalam to what really transpired. And so uh, we will be basically uh, be given an opportunity to find out yung pong uh, nang, nangyaring tunay and then we will verify uh, kung ano po yung uh, veracity ng uh, mga sinasabi ng uh, bawat isa na naimbitahan po dito so siguro attorney uh, Raymond Fortune uh, you have the uh, the floor to give us some uh, narration on what really happened good afternoon uh, Mr. Chairman uh, good afternoon the chairman of chairman of uh, I'm sorry the members of the committee on public order uh, good afternoon po sa lahat mga men in uniform. On August 8, 2023, there appeared to have been a altercation between a cyclist and a person who later turned out to be named as Wilfredo Gonzalez. He is a retired slash dismissed police officer. Um, I just to cut the make it short, if I may ask the committee to play the First video. Uh, this was taken by a vlogger by the name of the iVlogs. Okay, so uh, technical uh, people, uh, can you kindly put the uh, ano? Eh no. Uh, video. Eh no. Oo palo. Okay. okay. Uh, watch it. Ina mo. Ayan. Ayan. Kaka ako may baril. All right. Um, it's a short video. Just today, I received a second video, which is a second angle of the same incident. This was taken from, uh, true enough, one of the CCTV cameras that was installed along the same street. That I would think that that would be Quezon Avenue uh, near the Welcome Road. So, hindi ba po ito napapalabas sa... Uh, uh, this is the first time that you're going to uh, show it. Uh, this is already posted as well, uh, Mr. Chair. Ah, okay, sige. Thank you. Sige, go ahead. Hindi po yan yung vehicle. Ito na po. We can we can already cut it, uh, Mr. Chairman. Although the vid video as shown right now is a little bit choppy, but uh, a clear copy will show, or at least the way I perceive it, is that at first the red vehicle was on the the regular car lane, while the bicycle was on the bicycle lane. You are going to see the red car encroach into the bike lane. So the cyclists tried to avoid the vehicle by swerving to the left. And then the red vehicle would now again swerve back into the lane, cutting the path of the cyclist who was trying to progress forward. The gentleman inside the vehicle would step out of the vehicle, um, strike the head of the cyclist, pull out his gun from his waist, and cock it. Thereafter, this same gentleman would, using his left fist, strike the right shoulder of the cyclist and then subsequently drag the cyclist's bicycle to the curbside. Uh, in view of these, and I'd like to add 
further that, and I will concede that there was a written agreement consisting of two pages signed by the cyclist whose name is Alan Bandiola, as given to the police, and uh, the individual in the vehicle, Mr. Willie Gonzalez. In this agreement, it would appear that there were a there was a charge and a counter charge. The charge was uh, reckless imprudence resulting in damage to property on the part of Mr. Gonzalez and a, char a counter charge of grave threat by Mr. Bandiola. There is nothing in this document and I have served copies of the two-page agreement to the uh, Honorable Committee. There's nothing as to the narration as to what is the basis or factual basis for the charge of grave, grave threats. The same document would reflect that there was a, an alleged settlement between the two parties. But I've also furnished the committee with a text given to me by the same uh, cyclist saying that in truth and in fact, he was forced to pay the amount of 500 pesos as part of the settlement. To my mind, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, members of the committee, we all saw the video, the, vid the two videos, the two videos will not lie. And for the individual who had been hit in the head, shown a gun, cocked it, struck on the right shoulder, and whose bicycle was dragged, he was being forced now to shell out 500 pesos of hard-earned money inside the police station without the benefit of counsel. May I ask, therefore, and this is the request of this person, that a full investigation be conducted by the Honorable Committee in aid of legislation for crafting of new laws or maybe the amendment of existing laws for, number one, maybe protection, further protection for cyclists while traveling along bike lanes, maybe a new law wherein there's now a presumption of liability in the event that there is an accident or an altercation that occurs within a bike lane. Probably an amendment of our law on uh, Republic Act 10, 591. Probably a, an amendment of uh, the same law with regard to the requirements before the issuances of any gun license are given to any individual applicant. Or any other laws that this uh, honorable committee may feel uh, may be deemed necessary in order to avoid the repetition of these kinds of incidents on our city streets and so that our citizenry would feel safer when they do commute uh, on our on our streets that is all um, mr chairman and the uh, chairman members of the committee thank you uh, so much uh, attorney uh, portun uh, uh, siguro pakinggan naman po natin yung side ng uh, pnp no also mr chairman if uh, i may I also uh, let me express also my appreciation and uh, gratitude to Attorney Fortune for helping us on uh, looking for the real score uh, on really what happened on this because it, it, it happened under my jurisdiction and uh, the police is uh, really uh, asking all the persons uh, concerned the, the whom we have uh, information on this matter to help us establish the facts and really if there's a really a need to convict Mr. Gonzalez of the crime that uh, he may have committed. And for that matter, sir, if you may allow me, if you, you may allow me we have uh, a clear picture, if Attorney Fortune will allow us, we have a clear picture of the CCTV camera, of the CCTV video that he just presented, the second video. And if it will be allowed, sir, I may uh, submit it to the committee for Perusal because this is a... Uh, it is the same day, another the same, same video. same video, but a uh, clear picture because okay. uh, this is uh, directly taken at the monitor of uh, Barangay uh, Don Manuel during the time that uh, the investigator accompanied the, uh, the cyclist to actually point out to them uh, the exact circumstances. So uh, we can hear commentaries on the first video without the we can hear the voices of the uh, the investigator and uh, the cyclist without the captions and then 
I deem it, uh, I, I believe that it will help us. I made a second video, same version, with the captions already incorporated. So if uh, the committee will allow me, it is now uh, saved in this uh, flash disk, and uh, it is upon okay, the, uh, uh, we will be the allowed, discretion uh, of the committee if you want to play it or with not. With permission sir. of the... Uh, Thank you, sir. Uh, members, no? Uh, can we allow the clearer version of the uh, CC uh, of the ano uh, of the video of the uh, incident? Uh, okay, Taya. Mr. Chairman, uh, we'll sir, there is it. an audio on that uh, video. Yeah, it's a better version, siguro tignan po yes, natin. Sir. Sige, go ahead. But for the, for the meantime, no? Can I ask ano yung uh, yung uh, person responsible for the um, this agreement that uh, that was uh, contracted between uh, uh, Gonzales and the uh, certain uh, Alan Banjola, saan po naganap to? Sa, uh, under kanino po yan? Uh, it was under uh, Station 11 of Galas. And, uh, Sino pong head doon sa Station 11? Lieutenant Colonel Jake Barila, sir. Jake Barila? Yes, sir. Uh, 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 we were not able to, ano, no, to invite them. Ano? Hindi, ano? Siguro sa susunod na lang po tayong uh, hearing ano kasi we wanted to be uh, clarified dun sa ano sa agreement nila but nevertheless siguro po ay sa susunod na lang po natin na uh, uh, itaken ready na ba oh, if uh, our members who wanted to uh, uh, some uh, clarification no or uh, para sa ating pong uh, information uh, you can do so So, uh, Attorney Portun, uh, may I ask, ano, kung uh, itong uh, 
kasunduan niya with uh, Willie Gonzalez, meron pa silang kaso right now. Uh, kinasuhan din si uh, uh, Alan, ano? Uh, no, 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 Mr. Chairman. Uh, there were no cases filed as a result of this altercation. Ah, uh, okay. By so... reason of the kasunduan. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Uh, but uh, just as an aside, later on when this issue uh, blew up, the cyclist started sending texts explaining uh, how the agreement came about. Uh, I attached a copy of the two explanation, the two texts he sent, mm-hmm. wherein he explained that, uh, well, that he was forced to pay 500 pesos, that what uh, he was being uh, charged with had no factual basis. Okay, so that's the reason why, ano, uh, medyo nakakainit din ang ulo yun, no? Uh, <laughs> ikaw na may... <laughs> Ikaw na ang binatukan, ikaw pa nagbayad ng uh, 500 pesos. Uh-